Hey, hey, hey! It's a boat doctor, and I guarantee it's rough out in the ocean today, and it is cold in the 30s, I bet you. Can you tell? You can tell the swells are picking up here with a little wind and it's breaking on that south side. And I can actually hear the ocean from here pretty good, beating on the shore. Anyway, the set of twin 200 C Star and one got a kicker motor that's what that control box is for for that kicker when he gets it and i do a wireless between the two a, a cable instead of that rod fuel gauge on that i went to put some diesel in but the, i think the nozzle was too big so they may check that gauge most of the time when you turn on the main engines that gauge comes on uh, but i'll try it again the heater does work okay so he's got the sliding rails he's got the rear entry door he's got right over here Here's his wash down hose. We can take that actually. And we'll go ahead and undo this. And there's a valve here you can turn off too. This cap's on here for a reason because if that valve there was open in this cap, you'd have water coming in when you were going down the water with the pump off. And let me see how they got this twisted in there. Oh, okay, there you go. Like that. And we'll screw that on and make sure you do it easy. You don't want to cross thread them. Just like that, okay. Now, over here is your panel. Now, if you cut this switch too, you just reset that. That shuts power off. Turn these to on. The yellow is just to parallel off the AFI units. And then you want to make sure that these are on, which they are. You don't need the refrigerator, so you can turn that off. If you had these off your uh, heater wouldn't work you need these just like this that means off okay so you can shut this this is your fish box right here with a good gutter drain system in it so you don't get water you know it goes in here like here and then out instead of you know filling up with water when it's just sitting there then you hit this switch right here And then you just gotta wait a second or two, maybe. I hear the pump. Oh, okay. So if you hear the pump go, and you come back here, you got a seacock valve, which is open, which is open. So we should have water coming out of that. So, oh, there it is. See the valve. Hit, hit it on. I come like you can hear it go roar. Brrr. That's antifreeze. Now, it's still filling up there. Now, I heard a little bit leak somewhere. Right there. Just tighten it up. Right there. But if this thing goes brrr, brrr, when it's on and you're not using it, that means you got a water leak. And that's what that seat cock valve is for. That's, that's to pump the fish boxes out. That's a live well downriggers so you got to have that switch on then you got to go up here and hit the live well switch where are you right here and i'm going to turn on the courtesy light cab lights having lights but you can't see that ain't on fan you don't need that and valve bills works half bilge works wipers work horn works compass is good okay so what I'm going to do while I'm showing you all this, I'm going to fire this up real quick. Make sure it's in neutral. You got separate switches here for your trim, port and starboard. Turn the key on. Hit that one. Hit that one. Now I'm going to start up these electronics. And I'm going to hit this and you got to just hold it. Manual. Yep. Uh, Ventilation, settings, manual. So you just hang on, push on that one, and then you go over here until it says it highlights that. Then you just long press and it says starting. Okay, now if we go back here, there's your live well. You can shut that off. And that's a baffle so when it goes up there the water don't come over the top and that's your 
water gets in here you got a plug and then that's your overflow okay dual batteries make sure i'm not going to yeah tides come kind of weird actually tides uh oh well i am screwed because if the tide's going out ooh, yeah darn it anyhow oh well insulated fish box to uh the rake 